if you're just like me and you've done an engine swap from 1.6 to a two litre, you're gonna need to sort the wiring out. Now I know a lot of people are struggling with the wiring, so I thought why don't I bring you a video that'll show you guys exactly how to do it. So that'll cover off the MAF sensor, the O2 sensor, the cooling temperature sensor, and the secondary fuel pump. There's four main areas that you need to focus on from a 1.6 to a two litre TDI. So first thing sirs, before you start touching anything, let's unlock your van and let's disconnect the battery and let's start working through them. So the first thing we're going to do is the MAF sensor. So this MAF sensor here is a five pin plug and as you can see these are the colours that I got off the Leon. So if you're going to be using the caddy wiring loom, the colours will differ and I'm going to put a matrix chart as an attachment in a Google Drive down below so you'll be able to find exactly what needs pinning out to what. So we've got black in pin one, we've got purple and black in number two, we've got green on its own in number four and number five has got red and green. So let's take a look at the ECU. So this goes back to the ECU. Now the plugs Sorry, you need to re-pin these into the ECU plug. Now this will be, because this is on the caddy wiring, not the engine wiring, this one needs to go back to the large, I think it's a T90 plug um, on your ECU. So strip all your cables back and let me show you this next one. So these are the two plugs that are on the ECU. This is the T90 one, the big plug. And this is a T60 plug, this is the engine wiring loom. Now you don't need to touch that at all. You're only focusing on the bigger plug on the ECU. So you won't be able to see very well, but I will put a diagram on here. If you turn the plug over, I have the cream bit at the top and I have the black bit at the bottom. You'll see at the bottom right hand corner, there's a number called number 28. All you need to do to find out what your pin number is, 16's here, it tells you markers. So one's here, 16s here and 28 here. But we're going to start off with pin one. So pin one's the black one, just there. And if we look at the diagram as well, pin one goes into number 18. So that's that black one there, and that goes into 18. That's the first pin. The second pin that we have is a black and purple. And that goes into pin number 23. The next one after that is just a green. And that green one goes into 39. The black in number 18. The purple and black in number 23. We've got the next one, which is 39 which is the green that goes into there. And then the last one is a green and red. I just de-pinned that one out of the um, existing plug. It doesn't go back to this. So this one already exists and these ones I've just ran in. And that's it. That's it for the math. And to verify that, what we can do the black wire which is pin one, comes down and goes across all the way over here to pin number 18. The next one is the, call it black and violet they call it, comes down here, hits this junction, goes across and we get two pin number 23 we do the next one the green just comes down it's the junction there goes all the way along and goes into pin 39 sorry and then your last one 
it says black and blue on here but again I just deepened the caddy one because I didn't need to put in the last one I just deepened it from the caddy one and put it straight into that plug and that is your MAF sensor wiring so next plug to look at is this O2 sensor pin number four is one that goes into the caddy so just deepen that pin number four out and repin that back into your new plug so that one you know you, you won't have had you just need to deepen it out your old plug and put that one back in to pin number four the rest of them will go to the ECU so once you've found sorry the, the plug once you've found the ones that go to the plug the one that doesn't goes into the abyss or goes into the caddy okay so that one goes into the caddy so just deepen it from your plug and plug it into pin number four on here so then we'll start off with um, pin number one so green wire pin number one and that goes to the top row in the cream section as you can see here on 73 74 75 76 and it goes into number 77 so you can see there then you've got the I've got gray and white on mine which is pin number six and as you can see gray and white there goes into 78 and then I've got pin number two on mine which is gray and red goes into the one a row below of the grey and white one so it just goes into the one just below that as if you're looking down on the pin structure onto that one there and then you've got a black wire which goes into the top row sorry goes next to the red and grey now hopefully that makes sense so secondary fuel pump there's a nut at the back here I've earthed off the earth off the plugs you'll need to take this from your Leon so here's the secondary fuel pump plug again don't worry, I'm gonna tie wrap all these up in some nice wiring loom tape so the brown is an earth just earth that to the back of the van again there's a nut down there or just put a nut in there and earth it off and this one goes into the uh, where the fuse box is so what you're gonna have to do the red and white one you're gonna have to run a cable same thickness from here through the back of your van or through the wiring loom hole down there and into the cab so now I am gonna tidy all of this up I've just got it working and I've had to show you guys exactly how it works so this is your fuel pump relay that you'll have this has come from the Leon, you've got to take this out. It is a 404 relay and it'll look exactly the same as this. So let's just run through the cables. The red and white one, this is my extended cable just here. If you, get, you can see a little bit of that copper, it's going to get sorted out. So this one runs to the fuel pump wire that I've just shown you. This one connects to that red and white there so that's the earth done and you've connected the feed up to the secondary fuel pump so after you do that you've then got this black brown wire okay now that goes to the t10 plug under your light let's go and have a look at that one and this is the cable here it runs all the way down the back and I just took it up the back with the ECU it runs all the way down the back I've had to then splice in again another cable to get the length you only want one and that is here so as you can see these are the old caddy wires that came into the T10 plug so what I've done on my Leon is I just cut that length off or actually I cut the plug off the Leon and just recrimped the wires here so the black and brown that goes into pin number one here connects with that extension wire that goes all the way back 
around the cab and then into the black brown there and this is why I changed the plug because I think someone tried to budge from it in the past as you can see pin number one there is no there is no black brown cable so yours is going to look like that so all you need to do is put a pin in there and then extend the cable all the way in the front of the dash and then the other two wires are very straightforward so your red and your yellow you just take or tap into the feed this red and brown on an existing relay it goes into I think it says A there might be number three yes number three on there as you can see so I'll just put a wiggle there temporarily just to test it and that red and yellow tapped off the red and brown in pin three here which has an A next to it that completes that wire and then all you've got left is one blue and black now the blue and black again can be tapped into the yellow and black which you can just see here now the yellow and black is in the other relay so you tap in your blue and black will go into your yellow and black off your other relay that will sort the feed out for that then your yellow and red goes into your red and brown on that other relay your thick one goes to your fuel pump and then your brown and black goes to the front of your headlight and that is it that is all of the wiring done and I've got no fault codes on the dashboard now some of the fault codes I did have was um, fuel pump B open circuit I had that because I didn't have the wire into the plug now I don't know if there's anything else I might have missed off there so if I have please drop me a message on Instagram and let me know if you need some help as well I've also got all the wiring diagrams in the description below on buy me a coffee it's a couple of quid buy me a coffee and obviously hopefully that will help develop the project you get all the CR wiring diagrams like you're seeing on the first part of the episode and I'll also give you a quick little hints and tips screenshot that you can look at that tells you just quickly roughly where they need to go to but that's a bit more in depth of where the wire is going in the screenshot you'll see that um, I'll show you you can use caddy wire 2 caddy wire 3 you can you can move it around whatever you want but that's more just an in-depth one for me on the wiring on the CR 170 engine swap and I'm fairly confident now that I could do this if anybody's in the northeast and they need a hand just give me a shout I'm more than happy to come and give you a hand if you are struggling a couple of guys have messaged me on Facebook Instagram um, more than happy to help everybody and if you want the wiring diagrams they're only about three pound fifty four quid on buy me a brew I feel like a lot of time and effort's gone into finding this out and I'm happy showing you it but if you want the diagrams as well just for peace of mind then go and click that buy a brew make sure you hit the subscribe button make sure you hit the like button and drop a comment down below and hopefully guys you can get yours fixed as well and I'll see you guys on the next one.